Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Plassard. Today I'm focusing on the euro. After years of gloom, euro bulls will be celebrating the single currency brisk rally to two years highs against the dollar. But yet the euphoria is now being tempered by caution over what side effect the rapid run-up might bring. The euro has enjoyed an 11% jump against the dollar since May 2020, benefiting from the US currency weakness and Europe's decisive joint stimulus plan to combat the coronavirus. And its real exchange rate, so against the basket of trade partners' currency, a George watched by policymaker, the euro has soared to six year highs. Aside from hurting export, the ECB won't want to see the, a strong currency complicating its battle against deflation. Some models suggest a 10% rise in the euro would knock 50 basis points off annual GDP. As a reminder, the euro zone is expected to contract 8% this year. Equity investor have returned in force to European shares in recent months. But the euro's exchange rate can also affect companies' earnings since more than half of eurozone company generates revenue outside the bloc. A 10% euro appreciation shave around about 6% of earnings per share for, reg for regional companies. When the euro rallied 5% against the dollar in a few weeks towards the start of 2018, Mario Draghi, so the president of the ECB, called the exchange rate a source of uncertainty. But so far, the ECB has stayed silent on the euro this time around. Ultimately, the benefit of the European aid plan could be overshadowed by the rise of the euro. The key level to be monitored will be 122 and then 125. A little bit of caution in the short term then, especially if Joe Biden were to arrive at the White House. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Read my morning and keep on winning.